Hey everybody, welcome to the 21st Century Administrator Leadership Cohort 1 Year 2 group, better known as PLAID. If you've made it this far, then that means you've successfully logged in and found your course. You might recall that last year we used My Big Campus for some online collaboration. <clears throat> this year we're going to try Moodle. So you've got a Moodle course here for your cohort one year two, and this video is going to serve to show you, just give you kind of a general introduction of the Moodle interface and some of the things that you um, might want to know about in terms of navigation. And most importantly, I'm going to tell you what your first assignment is. So, all right, so we're logged in, we're in our course, and this is what we see. And you should notice that on either side, We've got some uh, areas <coughs> of, excuse me, of information and things that you can navigate to and pick. And down the center, you have your content. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see that there are various content sections. And each section is going to have its own kind of um, unique piece of information or it'll house discussions or resources, those kinds of things. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. The first thing I want to show you though are these information areas that are on either side. These are called blocks and blocks hold information that's not directly related to the content of a course or to the content of a PLC, that kind of thing, but they you know, can help you find things and to get around. If you feel like these are taking up too much real estate, that's fine. There's an easy way to dock them on the left hand side of the page. So I'm going to move over here to upcoming events and I'm just going to find this little arrow and I'm going to click on it and now you'll see that upcoming events is docked on the left hand side. You should also notice that when I roll over that docked tab, I can still see everything that's in that tab, in that block, excuse me, but I can easily get to it and then when I move over, it goes away and doesn't take up <clears throat> so much real estate. So I'm going to go ahead and dock each one of these tabs and now you'll see that they're all here and if I want to undock anything, all I need to do is click on it and click on the arrow and it brings it right back. You'll notice that the navigation is small. That's because I've minimized it. If I click here, I can expand it and see all the options. I can minimize it and again I can dock it on the left hand side. So I'm going to keep my blocks docked <laughs> for right now as we move through the rest of this uh, content. So at the top, we just have our cool logo for our cohort one, year two. And our second section is called welcome. What I'd like you to do is click on that welcome section. And you'll find that in that section, we have, have an introductory discussion. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and click on that discussion. And what you're going to want to do is reintroduce to your, yourself to your colleagues. I know you guys worked all last year together, but then there was summer and now we're back. So let's talk about some of the things that um, is, are going on and what might have changed over the last year or so. So to participate in this discussion, all you do is click on the title of the discussion and it will open up a forum. Right now, there are no discussion topics started. So what you're going to need to do is click Add a new discussion topic. In the subject line, you can say Kathy Res Intro. So I can just have my intro and I can say, Hi, I am and complete my introduction. I can add files. I can do some basic formatting here, but also want you to see right here. If I click on this, I get a whole nother suite of tools. This way I can either, I can add videos or movies. I can add images. I can indent, I can do all kinds of stuff. So normally this is going to be reduced, but if you want to do more stuff, 
you can click on that and give yourself some more tools. I can also attach, fi attach files if I want to. I can just drag and drop them right there and then they'll be added. Once I'm done, I want to click post to forum. And it'll give me this little message that I have about 30 minutes to edit if I want to. And then when I click continue, it takes me back to the forum and you can see there's my introduction. If you want to read someone's introduction, you just click on the link under discussion and that will open up the post. And now I want to go back so that I can see other ones. I can use the back arrow or I'm clicking on that, introdu that introduction post again. See these things along the top? These are called breadcrumbs. This allows me to navigate backwards and forwards through Moodle depending on the path that I've taken. So if I want to go back to the introductory discussion forum, all I do is click on that breadcrumb and it takes me right back. Now if I want to email directly to, my, to the person who posts, <laughs> In this case, it's me. If I click on my name, it will actually bring up an app, my profile and it'll give me a lot of details. So I'm just going to go ahead and click back so I can go back to the discussion forum. And then I'm going to click on the welcome. That takes me back to my welcome section. To move from section to section, you can either go back to the very main page and you'll know it's the main page when you get to ASC PC1 year 2. So this is ASC PLAD cohort 1 year 2. That's the short name for your course. So here are the other sections. In the discussion sections this is where we're going to post all the other discussions that we're going to have besides the introductory one. So this is where different discussion topics are going to be posted. You might be asked to come here and collaborate or share your thoughts, those kinds of things. Two discussions have already been started. One related to questions or comments that you had about what you covered in the September workshop and then one on personal learning networks. This one asks, what, is, what are some of the PLNs that you are already part of and how have they helped you? And if you have any recommendations for others to join. So again, you would click Add New Discussion, type in your answer, and then click Post. And if I want to go back to that section, Discussions is the header. Another way to navigate is on either side. Since I'm on the second section, I can go back to the welcome or I can go forward to the personal learning opportunities. This section will house various personal learning opportunities that are available either through the Ventura County Office of Education or other locations such as that. Additional readings and resources will be provided to you. These might, may or may not, you know, fit directly within either one of the cohort meetings. They're not those specifically, but these will be additional readings, resources, and things like that for you to explore. And then finally, each meeting you will have a specific cohort meeting section where readings, handouts, and other materials will be posted related to that particular meeting. You can also navigate by clicking on jump to and these will take you to any one of the sections. So I'm just going to go back to the course page. So now I'm back on my home page. I can scroll up and down. You can see October isn't ready yet so don't worry about that. There's September and here are all of these. So <clears throat> there's lots of different ways to navigate. The other thing you might want to do is update your profile. And if you do go to administration and you go to my profile settings, right now you can edit your profile. 
and this is where I can change you know my name my contact information my description and then this is where you can upload your own personal picture and I would suggest everybody do that my computer's being a little bit slow so um, but basically it's just a uh, click uh, there we go and drag and drop and then you can add your picture in there to kind of personalize your profile the other thing I would suggest, strongly suggest that you do in um, the edit profile. So again, I went over it to administration. I rolled over the tab, uh, the tab and to get all the different details. And you might now want to go to messaging. This sets up how do you want how you want to receive messages that get sent from um, within Moodle itself. So one of the things that you'll probably want to change, and this is the biggest one, and let me scroll down to forum settings. Go ahead and uncheck these. Otherwise, when people post, I mean, if you want to get them, awesome, but you might find that you're getting too many emails. So go ahead and uncheck these, and that will take away that every time somebody posts to a discussion forum, you won't get a new email. So again, <clears throat> those settings were under administration. I went to edit profile to kind of change my personal profile and to add a, um, a photo. And then I went to messaging to set my, how do I want to see messages from um, Moodle? So I'm going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to use the back button this time. And just a couple of clicks so that I'm back at our cohort one. I hope that this overview helped you and I hope that you enjoy learning with Moodle this year.